Hi there, my name is Amy Murphy and this is your Feel Better Friday hosted here at Yoga Grow. This is a follow-up to last week's Office Stretches Part 1, which included some hip stretching, some hip space that was accomplished in a chair and a couple of spinal twists, so I hope that you took advantage of that. Following that, a bit of work for your lower body, you should stand up and give your arms, give your chest a bit of a break at the desk, of course. Uh, one hand is working ahead of you almost all the time if you're on the phone or hand on the mouse and that type of thing. So it's good uh, throughout the day to bring your arms over your head or behind your back. So I'll show you effective ways to do that type of thing. First things first, you just want to really posture your body. So stand up and feel tall. And then to get the shoulders prepped, so to speak, before this next stretch, float your arms up to your chest level. And just have reaching arms, let the arms come nearly, not literally, but they almost work their way out of their socket. They disintegrate and reach away from you, from your center. And then very consciously pull your shoulders back into your body. Sometimes that in itself is very relieving, very pure wideness across the collarbones, very spacious. And then treat that like a little pulse. Let your hands translate out of your body. This is just called a retraction. Pull your shoulders back into their proper space. Do that a couple of times. Sometimes you just feel more alert, stronger because your shoulder blade muscles are helping tug on your back more effectively so that they aren't being uh, put to sleep or out of use. They're being woken up. It'll help with any of that uh, middle back sort of dull ache. Good to do a few little sets like this. Keep your shoulders plugged in, so to speak, keep them drawn back, and now work from your pinky side of your hand to bring your arms out to a T and let it be tense, let it be shaky to accomplish that. Also good, the arms feeling long, sometimes this is a bicep stretch. Stick your thumbs up, and then don't go far, but just continue that range. With your shoulder blades feeling muscled, let your fingernails go backwards. So in me, that's definitely a bicep stretch. So don't be surprised if you feel it in your elbows and your hands. This alone without any props is a good way to open up. So simple. And then bring your hands down to your sides. And then you are prepared to do a little further work. Back yourself into a door frame. You might've been taught this before. It's a very classic stretch for your pec major. Bring your arms to 90 degrees, so your shoulder height. Your elbows are fixed onto the door frame. One step into the door, a good little lunge going on with your legs, even hips. And then it's your own movement through the door that really pulls your muscles more taut over your breastbone and your front ribs. About five good breaths in this first phase. Once you feel like you've achieved something, you've settled or made space across your chest in this position, go ahead and slide the elbows below 90. If there's slack to be taken up, perhaps you invite yourself to lean a little farther into the room. And be aware that the, the stretch, the angle will change. Five good breaths experiencing this angle. And then thirdly, you hop the arms above your 90 degree bend um, and you're less fixed with the elbows they could possibly come right off the door frame long arms very wide shape lean into the room still bend into that front leg that is leading you into this space and breathe and that takes care of your chest i hope that that helps for your neck to uh to eliminate the or counteract the feeling of that forward head posture, that need to, to look into the screen and that type of thing. It's good to do a little mini extension. Take your right hand and clip your left collarbone. Print your hand onto your chest and really drag that bone down. Let your left hand have the same really effective reach down. Side bend your neck to the right. So bend it away from the bone that you are pinning down. That'll likely be a side neck stretch already. And then part two is to lift your chin. 
This could walk the stretch into the throat, maybe your ear. So very good for loosening up the places that you might not even realize are holding. When you're careful to exit, you chin tuck first, center your neck. Other side to stretch my right neck, my left hand goes ahead and pins down my right collarbone. My right arm does a nice reach. Simple side bend, neck over to the left. Experience that. Fingers are working hard towards the floor. And then lift your chin up. Feel how that spreads, disperses, and changes. And tuck your chin. Back to center. That might be plenty for you. If you needed another little trick for your shoulders, put your hands right behind your back. Interlace your fingers. And then let the elbows melt out, be a little bit messy. You can even cave the shoulders in and slouch. Only to experience the opposite. Roll your shoulders back, narrow your, narrow your elbows in, float your hands off your back. Do that a couple of times, fall in on your own weight. Roll shoulders back, pull the arms off your back. You can find your capacity, your full ability to, to lift your hands, and then there's even space for a floss here. You can also let that hoop of the arms bucket handle off and on your low back. And then of course, your add-on could always be a forward fold. You could find that max capacity for your shoulders, for your hands, your wrists, and then you'll want to widen your stance. Little bend in the knees, move from your pelvis, so sort of stick your butt out, roll your hips over those upper thigh bones. And at the end of the range, let your head settle. Your knees are still bent. Maybe the hands have more room to travel. from your tailbone, your sit bones pulling down, bring yourself back up. And break the hands open. And there you have it. Plenty effective on its own, but you might enjoy this again with your part one office stretches. I hope that you feel better and I hope that you have a good Friday. Thank you.